let's make sure that we see cloth and we kind of know where we want to hide that bust or that area of the, the neck that we don't want to see. So what we're going to do, we're going to do something that is a little bit different and we're going to use opacity mask or we're going to use a mask to make sure that part of the area that we don't want to see, we don't see it anymore. Now, there's, there is a different ways to create this, but we're going to do it slowly but surely. I go into content browser. Where this is this located? I go into the content. Let's go to meta humans common base materials baked and it's called M head baked. If I double click on this, it looks scary, but don't you worry about it. I'm going to have to change this from opaque to masked. Save this for a second. Save it and keep it open because now we need to do another thing. We need to create something else. We need to add something else. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into models, Erika's body. Let's do it here. Let's import it over here. Import Go into our project. Erica, Meta Human, Ariel, Vengeance 5. Now, this is the file. As you can see here, let's open it. This is what we have. Now, everything that is white is going to be shown. Everything that is black, it's going to be transparent. So what happens if I load it into our scene, imported it. There you go. And now here in our shader that we just created as, as mask, I can basically drag this over here. Okay, let's take RGB, put it in opacity mask. Give it and see what happens. You can see that this whole area has basically disappeared. So if I bring back her cloths, and then we move around Erica's head, you can see that it is way better. We don't have any bus showing up. And nothing is poking out. Of course, right now, the, the cloth is not really getting any information, but we're going to get to it and we're going to fix this. Of course, you can get this and you can get this shader and uh, or the texture and tweak it around. Make sure that you have um, uh, different heights so that you could control how much you want to hide. If you want to know how to create that opacity mask, I'll show you a, a, a quick way. There's two ways to do it. A quick way to do it is basically go to your content. What do you need? You need, before you do anything, you need the UV of the, the meta human head. Now, meta humans, they share pretty much the same UV map. I want to go into the content browser. And under that, I'm going to go into meta human. Meta human Erica, I want to go into her blueprint. I will double click on that. And when this is opening, uh, we can see on the left, it's kind of like the outliner. So I'm going to select the face. And in here, it says the Meta human Erica face mesh. I'm going to press on this button here. And so it'll show me what it looks like inside content browser when where it is located. And there it is. It is under content Meta humans, Meta human Erica face and this is our skeleton mesh of me, uh, Erica the meta human face in here I'm going to right click and I'm going to go into asset actions and I'm going to export this no that one this what this does it allows me to export this as a fbx file as you can see here there's a few files that you can export it as I'm going to use fbx and here I'm going to sue face mesh that's okay I'm going to keep it there and I'm going to export that. I want to export the way it is. Now, another way to do it, if you don't want to open Maya, if you don't want to use it in Maya, you can basically export these two. Then you can basically play around with this in Photoshop or equivalent to Photoshop. So if I double click on that, this is the texture, the color texture of Erica. You can see we don't really see where the face ends, even though I can see barely where it is. And if you don't like it, 
you can always open up this the roughness and you can see a little bit better so you can export these two the name way right click do asset action and then export this and you can export it as an fbg uh, png um same location there you go and then let's go into my so now that we have imported the fbx so let me just scroll up a bit and this is what uh, we got from unreal engine this is our erica not to just zoom in on it let's uh, hide the joints because we really don't need it right now i press on five you can see that this is our erica this is the mesh of our erica if i select to erica and go into uv uv editor what right here we can see that this is pretty much the uv of erica now it's got everything in it it can it's got her face it's got her eyebrows it's got her eyes it's got all that stuff now i can basically isolate that by going to mesh and i will do separate when i do separate it takes a little bit of time it also took a little bit of time to um import the fbx because what it does it imports all the lod's now what are lod's lod's are level of details and zero is the highest one and then it goes to one two and three i think and then it's got a lower version of the match which is uh, a, a little bit lower um lower poly but this is basically a uv so i'm coming to human and then we here we'll call it uv snapshot i'll save this and i will make sure that uh, maybe i will do it 4096 by 4096. on the iff let's change this to either jpeg or png let's change it to png and i will do apply and close once this is done once this window disappears i can get out of this and i can actually get out of maya and go into photoshop or equivalent to photoshop so now that we're in photoshop i have imported the snapshot that we just created now my, i can see something but i can see it very well so i will go into channels and I'll go into layers and i will add another layer and i'll put it underneath this first layer and that will actually make sure that it's black so now i can see something now we can see the layout of the uv of our perica no basically all i need i understand that this is where the face ends and i guess that all this part is her neck so what you need to do is basically all i need to do is go up take another layer and I will make this our texture. Now, how do I do that? It's not a problem at all. You can actually create, let's say up to here, you can create um, some sort of a um, selection area. With the elliptical shape, I can basically set it semi anywhere. Well, make sure that it's got pretty much the same size it doesn't really matter to be honest something like this and i will paint it white and if i hide sorry if i hide this this is pretty much what we need now again if you want to mess around with um with how high you want you can save this file as as an option and that thing you can do you can always take it a little bit higher so you will basically you show more of the face less of the neck depending on how much you want to see i can really take it all the way the way i want as long as you are not going up to the head unless you want just the head let's say um every face wearing a turtleneck you can basically hide everything underneath her cloths we can do that you can also create a shape let's say you want a v shape you can do that as well but that's all you have to do that is really all you have to do to create that texture and then you can save this as a png or as a target file and that's how you import that into unreal engine and play around with how you want it to, to look if i take it all the way up to here let's just make sure that let's see where 
of her face is, it's up to here. So we've not too far, but pretty far. So I'll just hide this and let's save this, export this. And so now that we're back in Unreal, I want to just show you what we just did. Models, and then we'll go into Erica's body. Or if I go into models, and this is our opacity mask. But let's import the new one that we just created in Photoshop. And I called it Test Op Mask. Jentenga. I'll open that, and this is what it is. be just used to create uh, this. Let's detach this and let's see what happens when I add this to the opacity mask. And let's apply it and see what happens here. You can see that a little bit less has, has gone down. And again, you can play with it. You can see as no matter how, uh, how high you want it, how low you want it, it'll, it'll do the same thing. This is the opacity mask too. This is the one that we used before. This is the one that we're using now. Now if you notice, the one that we used before lands from white to black. This one is a sharp line, but the Unreal Engine, when it comes to opacity mask, doesn't really look at the blending, so it doesn't really matter. If you do it with a sharp line, it's going to be the same way as not with a sharp line. And that's it. I think that I like the second one. So I can get rid of these two. Or maybe I can use this one instead. The one with the V-shape. Make sure that we put this back. And there you go. It's pretty cool that basically you can take the rig, move it around, and her head is going with it. So we have, in the sequencer, we have an attachment. You can see that all the way to the end. Of course, we can tweak it if you, if I take it a little bit lower, if I take it to 42, then the attachment of the head will finish after 42 frames. But right now it's going through the whole process. It's going through the whole timeline, which is really, really great. Of course, if you have any animation on the body, it will be also, um, the head will go with it as long as the attachment is active. Let's make sure that we save this, save all. We have this file saved. And I think that this is a good place to stop for this session of the video. And uh, we continue next time with Kloss, uh, which we're going to use Chaos for that. And we're going to see how we can add an animation to our body. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, Oblim Nation.